Tom and Shelly with the Empower Network and the 1010 Formula team. We are still on the road heading back to our slice of heaven, Mountain Home, Arkansas from the Chicago Get Money 2013 event. And we've changed roles here. Tom is taking a little turn at driving and he has something he wants to share. Well, what I wanted to share is I, I had an aha moment from uh, the book that I read by Chris and Susan Beasley and Amanda Ollie, uh, The Mindset Shift. And um, it's, it's a new look on something that we have actually, or at least I have actually heard about you know, several times before, which is the reticular activating system, which is basically saying that the, uh, the brain is being bombarded, your brain is being bombarded something crazy like two million thoughts, images per, per, per second. And uh, if you were to try and concentrate on all those, it would just drive you insane. The reticular activating system, uh, the mind, if you will, is designed with filters to filter those things out um, so that one or two you know, thoughts a second can actually get through the mind, which is it seems like that's that's quite a bit if you if you were thinking one or two thoughts per second and, and you're really not concentrating on that you know that you're doing that thinking about doing it but you really still are I mean you're as you look around you're taking in colors and views and sights and sounds and all those things are happening all at the same time but the filter is designed to basically do just that. It's a filter. It filters out all of those things and lets you concentrate on one or two things. So here's the aha for me. So how does the mind decide? How does the brain decide what gets through and what stays out? And um, what I came to realize is that you decide what the brain decides. And by that I mean your values, um, your beliefs uh, decide what your brain lets through and what your brain filters out. So if you think about the term, um, you know, what you think about, you bring about, uh, uh, as a man thinketh, so, so he becomes, uh, really it, the, it, what it boils down to is, uh, at least in my humble opinion, the mind filtering out things that you don't think are important. So, for instance, if I believe that, for, for whatever reason, let's just say for the sake of argument, that I believe that money is bad because I grew up very poor and uh, was always told those people, those rich people, you know, they lie, cheat, steal, that's how they got their money. You don't, you don't want to do that. You want to be an honest, hard-working person. So I grow up with that belief that money is bad. So my value and my belief, whether I consciously think about it or not, is that money is bad. So when something happens in the universe that deals with money, it hits that filter and guess what? The brain says, nope, money's bad, we don't like money, out it goes. So, I can't ever think about money in the terms of money's a good thing and, and you know, money is something I that will buy freedom and, and uh, allow me to do things to help other people and all the wonderful things that money can do. So the mindset shift is all about understanding what the mind filters out and what the mind lets through then you begin to think about uh, what you bring about in other words if you if you constantly are telling your brain you know it's okay to have money it's okay to have the finer things in life then as those things hit 
your your filter, your reticular activating system, as it were, those things are let through, and those are the things that you begin to think about. That's what you become. So, it, it the book is really a kind of a new take on a on a subject that's been around forever. But uh, I just thought I'd share that with you. I thought that was pretty cool. It, it kind of cleared things up for me. I hope I was able to, to explain that so that you can understand it. So Tom, you had a mindset shift reading the mindset shift. I had a mindset shift reading the mindset shift. Well, That's right. Whether or not it was designed to do that, I don't know. But for me, it happened. That's awesome, Tom. So, what I'm thinking about is how many people I can help in the next day two days, three days, week, month, year, so that when we are being flown first class to Denver uh, in July for the next Empower Network training, uh, it's just a matter of the universe giving me what's already mine, what I've already declared. So, what you think about, you bring about. So, I'm thinking of success. I'm thinking of money, but I'm not concentrating on money. I'm concentrating on helping other people, and that's where my focus is going to lie. How many people can I help? 